So let me show you here is how to make a point table so that you can have a comments column in that point table. And the comments are actually user-defined properties that are associated to the actual point object. So you can see if I select this point object here and we go look at the properties, the user-defined properties in here, you can see that the comment says uh, keep. Okay, so <clears throat> that refers to the, the point. Now, what um, the way to make this happen is I'll go ahead and delete this table is you have to set up user defined properties so on the settings tab you can see here I've got user defined properties under the point feature and I made one uh, classification called comments so I'll make a new one just to show you how it's done we'll go new and we'll call it uh, I'll call it notes this time just so it's something different okay so we'll click OK to that now once you make that classification you're gonna right click on this and select new and you're going to make a new class so I could come in here and say field notes or you know maybe construction notes or whatever you want it to be and you want to choose a type of field whether it's a string and an angle and elevation whatever so user defined properties have a lot of features you can use them for you know automatically calculating inverts of you know from manhole rims um, you know that's how I use them in, in a lot of different uh, cases so here's the field notes it's a string we'll leave the default value as it is I'll click OK and now that I have that, <clears throat> you'll see that when you pick a point, and if I was to scroll down, you'll see that right now that point only says uh, comments, right? So if we go back to tool space, under our prospector, I put the points in a point group called a point group with comments. So you can see here when you select the point groups here, right here you can assign a classification to that particular group. So what I'm going to do is create a new point group, and we'll call it, you know, we'll call it points with notes. All right, <clears throat> and I'll include, we'll include all the points. I'll just go ahead and do that. We'll click OK. Obviously, I could do, you know, just the description of the trees here. And now, when I go back to this and I look at this point groups, I'm going to assign that note classification to this particular point group okay so now that I have that what I can do then is I can add a table when I add the table I'm gonna add a point table now to make the point table you can see I've got this PNEZD format I can choose different ones I made one with comments so what I'll do is I'll take this format we'll make a copy of it so I'm modifying the point group uh, or the point table all right, so we're gonna give it a name and I'll call it, we'll call it PNEZD with notes. I'll go to the data property field. <clears throat> we're gonna add a new point column. I'm gonna double click the header. I'm gonna call it notes. Now this, um, again, what uh, the user defined properties and this table should be set up in the drawing template so that this is available so in here we want to use you can see now I've got comment and I got field notes are the two new user defined properties so if I add field notes and I bring it over to the side I'm adding that value to that column alright so now if I was to select all these points grab that and we add the table you can see that the note column is blank right well when I pick on a point and I go to the properties and if I was to come down here you can see I've got a note category so also because that point belongs to another point group I can also put comments so if I wanted to I could put notes and comments so you can have more than one column and more than one user defined property so in here again I could put in um, you know that if I wanted to instead of a tree maybe it's a pine right so uh, I'm just making this up but you see how it fills out the column it's dynamically linked so then I could go pick this other one. Now, just to give you a, a, a little tip, if you change this up here from toggle, from uh, the, the toggle with selection of one, is it allows you to jump from point to point to point. The other thing that would be helpful, as well as if you turned on your user defined properties and edited this user defined property, okay, so if I come up here and and customize this I can add that user defined property field and it makes it a lot easier to manipulate and edit the points and the, the properties 
this takes a few minutes to load up um, but what you can do is customize it so that in the user defined properties you can see here for the Kogo point if I come down and click on notes and we can click on comments as well but I'll go ahead and apply and, and OK this you'll now see that I'll be able to pick on a point once it refreshes here um, and when I pick on that point and the user defined properties come up you can see that it's got the column for field notes okay or the the field for field notes so now what I can do is just click in here and I can put in you know this is an oak and then I could click on the next one and do the same thing you know come in here and say this is uh, you know uh, maybe an ash tree right so again just being able to by toggling that selection mode and setting up this you can see how quickly you can go through and manipulate this data so that it's linked to the table and that it's dynamic alright so hopefully that helps get you what you're looking for